the stream last night for a good clip. It was honestly definitely one for the books. But also shout outs to MetaView. And of course, everybody in the chat, everybody who watches 2G Gaming. It's always a pleasure to Smash have you guys. GG. And of course, number one place to find your tournaments, ladies and gentlemen, is Smash GG. Look no further. Tournaments of all kinds on the web, smash.gg. You can find a tournament literally for anything. Really, for anything. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, man. Com competitive speedrunning to old fighting games you would never think how to seen. But hey, man, Smash GG is here to help you find it. And honestly, with a great website and the pickup from Microsoft has definitely proven that it is a great platform and there is more to come. I mean, it makes sense. There's so much data on that website. So, I mean, like, <laughs> I could totally see uh, the reason why that Microsoft would also buy into that. Not just to help support esports, but again, the, the treasure trove of data that's on that website. <laughs> oh, yeah. But okay, here we go. Getting into game one here, Grand Finals. Wrath sitting on the winner's side. Spiro coming through, losers. Uh, it all comes down to this. Yeah. Honestly, this is pretty much Wrath can take it in one set. You know, he washes his hands, GG's. I'll see you, what, maybe next week, who knows? Well, but uh, for Spiro, you know he's looking for that recent. We'll see how he can build it up. I mean, slowly, Wrath is 97, only a few percent separating the two that's going to be a forward throw for the stage control here the auto radical force is a low recovery and the up smash will stop the neutral get up what a play from spiro just being able to read wrath from the ledge that way mm -hmm. yeah spiro definitely out here uh, making some noise wanting uh some revenge from that winner's finals i mean it, right now they're definitely making it work but they can't rest easy now the one thing that we do need to take into consideration here is yes wrath did win the winner's finals 2-0 but oh there we go forward smash to close it out but one of the problems, the main problems we saw, is that too often Spiro was living to like 170 on some stocks. It's definitely something that cannot be happening if Wrath wants to try, you know, clean this up 2-0, uh, GG's in a handshake. Right, he has to he has to look at how Spiro plays, not only from winner's side, but from loser's side. Because like you said, right, Spiro's the one pretty much having the hands warm. If Wrath is any thing of a good player, which he is, he'll be able to kind of read in Spiro. And slowly, I mean, Spiro is... Kind of bringing things back here, 82 per bath. Finally, finds an opportunity to be a little bit of aggressive with these up airs and brings it up it's pretty much almost close enough to take the slot here with that forward air. All right, oh, looking for that forward smash. Okay, forward throw, just gonna put him off stage. But Spiro will find their way back. More damage, forward air, not gonna close up the stock. Great DI from Spiro. And even if it doesn't take the stock, it just sends you further off to the stage, which gives Sonic just better ways to find ways to edge guard you. The forward oh. here. Oh no, this is looking tough for Spear out here. Once again, using that forward tilt, just knowing the range and how fast it is. Going out of shield. Oh, I was looking for the stock as soon as possible, man. He wanted it yesterday. Yeah, the flurry of uh, forward airs from Wrath. Definitely trying to close this game out, or at least this stock out, excuse me. Uh, we got two stocks left. But uh, 159, this is the part of that problem coming up again that Sonic's. Uh, Excuse me, Wrath is not doing a good. <laughs> Wrath is not doing a good enough job of closing out these stocks early, <laughs> allowing Spiro to live way too long. Wrath, if you're watching this bottle, we're sorry, man. It's not oh, our dude, fault. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Wrath. <laughs> you don't deserve this. He doesn't deserve it. But you know what, man? He deserves a lot of more Ws, and we'll see if Spiro will even give him the chance. With that down tilt, was able to take the stock here, and Wrath looking for an opportunity here. 166 on Spiro, looking to just take anything from the stock here, even using the up B to just sign trying to see if it was going to get severe off the stage all right here we are man again 176 percent on this second stock from spiro and looking like they might end up taking this game oh the homing attack i'm sending them way across the stage 195 wrath please close, please close the stock out come on yeah he's 195 here wrath just cannot find a pick here this will probably be an up back throw yeah i'll do it yeah I was gonna yeah, say I know. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say Sonic also has up throw, but I know that's have very, very high percents. And back throw was just pretty much given. If you don't have a kill, uh, not a kill throw, if you just do not have a throw that kills your opponent at 200 percent, at least one throw, you're. Just, I, I don't. You're a bad character. I don't. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, that's that. that's what makes some characters pretty meta, man. Just having down throw. I remember in Smash Four, it was about having down throw oh combos and, and kill throws. In Ultimate, that's mm -hmm. kind of almost the same here, but you just want to have more consistent kill throws and some pretty strong down throw follow ups you can lead into. 
Or yeah, I just I, I oh. do want to. Whoa! Unfortunate. I got the explosive flame, but at what cost? <laughs> Drop in game one. I do want to point out that obviously, if you don't have a kill, that doesn't mean you're a bad character. I'm a well that characters like Sephiroth and Cloud exist and leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Those characters, we think that they don't actually have kill throws because they would be ridiculous if they did. I think for Cloud, it kind of works out that he doesn't have a kill throw because, like, like yeah, it doesn't send him too far, but, like, the, um... And he doesn't... He can't, like, convert. Like, he has no combo throws, right? Combos off the shows or, or, or anything like that. But it sets up for positioning on stage huge for him. Like, um, if you can back throw and it kind of puts him to, like, the ledge, if you can find a way to dash up and... They're feeling the pressure. That's like an easy forward tilt or maybe even a back air, a raw back air to just close out a stock. So yeah. We're not going to get into that, man. We're going to focus on these two players in front of us right now. Wrath currently up 1-0 on Spiro. Let's see yeah. where it goes. And of course, like I said, this is best of three here. So this is pretty much Wrath at that point. Spiro having the unfortunate SD after the explosive flame. That was the second time we've seen it tonight, just because we saw it up against Raph or Winterside. So we'll see if uh, Spiro can just keep his head in the game. And it's just going to be on Kalos, so we'll see what things bring here. Spiro brought us to Kalos? I don't know how I feel wild. about that. Yeah, wild, right? Yeah, uh, this is a really good stage for Sonic. Um... Just because it allows them so much room, especially on these platforms. And if Wrath decides, like, they, if they choose to do so, they will just time you out. Like, they just have to take a little bit percentage lead. And then you pretty much just do not catch Sonic. That easy. Yeah, the last time we saw Wrath almost bring it to time was with 11 seconds to spare. So if Wrath wants to run the clock, man, that's a possible play in the cards. We'll see if uh, Spiro has anything to say about that. Man, this movement from Wrath. Wow, just continuing to put down this pressure. And as soon as, like, the pressure can't, like, continuously just be put down, actually just backs off a little bit where um, Spiro just tries to find something. And then all of a sudden, another homing attack just comes flying out. Nice. Changing it up to up here here. No back air. It's giving Spiro a little bit of time to level neutral air. Okay. Ooh. All right. Yeah, Spiro's definitely trying to find an answer here. This back air, obviously these back airs close out three stocks in that game three against Lingling, Ling, but the back air to whip in every single time so far against Wrath. Yeah, and you know that Wrath, Wrath is slowly kind of playing this a little bit safer as compared to the last game, just going for things like back air, forward, out of spin dash, just to pretty much respect Palutena, but able to dodge the explosive oh. flame, but only falls into the arms of an angel against that up air go continuing to put on some damage here not gonna find the second up air but will at least get 13 percent on the second stock another grab I mean, only a down throw i won't find anything else out of that again all right okay there's a the stock okay good stuff but wrath has got to do a better job man just like i feel like he's letting too many of these stocks go too far maybe it's palatina you know and just kind of respecting what palatina can do and i mean he is still winning but i feel like it is too much of a problem yeah yeah, yeah, he, he's definitely been doing pretty much better here, and especially now, able to get the spin dash, nice, a little bit of a cross-up. Misses the back air, but look at how this allowed Wrath to kind of go across the stage here, and then put himself for some pretty solid positioning. Ooh. Okay, Wrath, <laughs> you can tell he's taking his time. You know, he knows when you want to, it's, it's not about... It's a race, but it's it's definitely. I'm sorry. It's not a race. It's about how you in here. And if Wrath knows if I have to play a little bit of lame here and just bait out my opponent like so, that's what I'm gonna need to do. And Wrath, look at that, bait out that grab, and then able to go to get pretty much a, a carry up to the up air. I mean, it kind of feels like a race, you know. We got Sonic on the on the, on the screen here, running all over the place, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Fastest hedgehog in the world. Ooh, what was what was that? This, that's the second time now I've seen um. I've seen Sonic. Okay, so it's got to just be like the uh, just down B, just charged once. But there's uh, there's been a couple times now. Ooh, big old backer gonna close out the second stock. One stock away from taking the set, the tournament, everything. And I'm what two hundred dollars? Yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm telling you, man. This man is this kid is a fiend. He's been he's been a Wi-Fi warrior. He's not afraid to be out there and be one of one of the best Sonic mains out there. 
He's not afraid to make a name for himself either. And you know that this is definitely showing up in his gameplay because look at the way that Wrath is just playing it slow and steady. Even though Sonic won a race, Wrath is doing an excellent job treating it a marathon. Run the clock if you have to. Or look at your opponent's habits. That's why you see players like Sonic, anybody who means Sonic use spin dash because you can bait out reactions while still being able to play aggressive with it too. Oh, oh, wow, couldn't get the final hit on that forward air. Probably would have closed that out, 121%. Yeah, Wrath all of a sudden just turning it up. We saw Spiro, you know, kind of stay competitive, took the first stock in this game too, but now it just seems to all be falling apart. I uh, could find a way to take the stock soon, but uh, sitting about 126%, I don't know if they have it in the tank to go all the way. <sighs> yeah, the tank looking to slowly run on empty here, and Wrath has that full extended battery on the Tesla car that is Sonic, because he is going all across the entire W the stage man he's it's kind of tough for Spiro here it is a little bit tough oh okay I thought we we're gonna see an up smash attempt once again uh we do see Rap throwing out these up smashes pretty often a little bit more than other Sonics do gonna be able to live great homing attack actually probably would have fallen uh right into the explosive aim otherwise oh geez Speaking of great, oh, okay. I was gonna, speaking of great explosive flame, like look at Wrath on the DI. He's able to survive at that high percent. And Spiro at 152. Spiro's gonna do anything. It's that's it. Never mind. Oh, no wait, DI. 165. Not yet. Spiro, Spiro still got some gas. That's it. That's <laughs> it. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I'm done. <laughs> oh man. Well, I guess that's it. You're gonna be able to see Wrath take week one of the Smash GG Ladder Series presented by 2GG 2O and Grands. Well played. Well played.